Welcome aboard as we embark on a journey through the hidden truths of cruise tourism. Beyond the glossy brochures and promises of idyllic vacations lies a darker side, where the pursuit of profit takes precedence over the well-being of destinations. Today, we unveil the harrowing impact on eight cruise ports that have suffered under the weight of overtourism. Venice, known for its enchanting canals and timeless beauty, has become a victim of its own popularity. Over 1.6 million cruise ship passengers descend upon this fragile city annually, overwhelming its narrow waterways and historic streets. The consequences are dire. As the towering cruise ships disgorge their hordes of tourists, the delicate balance of Venice is disrupted. The constant influx of visitors has led to a dramatic increase in pollution, with cruise ship emissions and waste contaminating the lagoon. The foundations of this UNESCO World Heritage Site are literally sinking, while local residents are forced out of their homes, unable to afford skyrocketing prices driven by the demand from cruise passengers. Barcelona, the vibrant capital of Catalonia, has become a victim of its own allure. With a staggering 2.7 million cruise passengers disembarking each year, the city finds itself struggling to cope with the overwhelming numbers. The once charming streets are now overcrowded, the iconic landmarks overrun with selfie stick-wielding tourists. The pressure on local infrastructure is palpable, as the surge in visitors strains resources, leading to overloaded public transportation systems and inflated prices for locals. The loss of cultural authenticity is undeniable, as Barcelona's vibrant neighborhoods transform into tourist-centric zones, leaving little room for the genuine experiences that once defined the city. Dubrovnik, a picturesque coastal city and UNESCO World Heritage Site, has fallen victim to the relentless march of cruise tourism. With over 800,000 cruise ship visitors annually, this once serene destination now finds itself struggling to preserve its cultural heritage. The ancient city walls, which have stood for centuries, are now besieged by hordes of tourists, resulting in irreversible damage. The narrow streets are congested, as the authentic charm of Dubrovnik becomes a backdrop for Instagram photo ops. Local residents have been forced out of the city center, unable to afford the rising costs driven by the influx of cruise passengers. It's a tragic tale of a city trapped in a maze of overtourism, as the very essence of Dubrovnik slips away. Santorini, a paradise known for its iconic whitewashed buildings and mesmerizing sunsets, has become a victim of its own beauty. With a relentless stream of cruise ships disgorging their passengers, this Greek island is feeling the strain. The narrow streets of Oya and Fira, once tranquil and charming, are now overwhelmed by the sheer volume of tourists. Local residents have been pushed out of the most desirable areas, as housing prices skyrocket due to the demand from cruise visitors. Santorini, once a tranquil haven, now bears the scars of overtourism, with its natural beauty fading in the wake of profit-driven cruise tourism. Dubai, a city synonymous with opulence and grandeur, has become a playground for cruise tourism. With an average of 625,000 cruise passengers visiting each year, the cityscape of Dubai has transformed dramatically. Luxurious cruise ships dock at the imposing Dubai Cruise Terminal, symbolizing a lavish lifestyle that seems detached from the realities of the region. The pursuit of profit has fueled a race to build extravagant structures, often at the expense of the environment and local culture. In this relentless pursuit of ever-increasing tourist numbers, Dubai risks losing its identity, as the glitz and glamour overshadow the rich heritage and natural beauty of the region. Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas and a popular cruise destination, has experienced the paradox of paradise lost. With over 3 million cruise visitors annually, this island paradise faces the consequences of overtourism. The pristine beaches and crystal clear waters that once defined Nassau are now overcrowded, with beaches filled to capacity and marine ecosystems strained by increased tourism activities. Local communities often bear the brunt of the negative impacts, as the majority of cruise visitors tend to stay within the confines of the port and tourist attractions, leaving little economic benefit for the surrounding areas.
Phuket, Thailand's most popular cruise port, has experienced a surge in mass tourism that has left an indelible mark on the island. With over 8 million cruise passengers arriving each year, Phuket struggles to balance the demands of an ever-increasing number of visitors. The island's stunning beaches, once a serene escape, are now packed with sun-seeking tourists. Environmental degradation is a significant concern, as overdevelopment and inadequate waste management have led to pollution of the island's waters and destruction of fragile ecosystems. Local communities face challenges such as rising costs of living, cultural erosion, and the loss of traditional ways of life as they are eclipsed by mass tourism. Phuket serves as a cautionary tale of the perils that accompany unchecked growth in cruise tourism. Welcome to Labadee, a picturesque enclave nestled on the northern coast of Haiti. While it may seem like a tropical paradise, Labadee's story takes a cynical twist as we explore the dark side of its relationship with the cruise industry. Operated exclusively by Royal Caribbean International, Labadee stands as a fenced-off destination where cruise passengers are shielded from the realities of Haiti. Behind the pristine beaches and lush landscapes lies a troubling reality. Local residents, who earn an average wage of only $2 per day, are kept at arm's length from the visiting tourists. The fences that surround Labadee act as a barrier, preventing cruise passengers from venturing into nearby towns and experiencing the true essence of Haiti. Critics argue that Labadee represents a form of neo-colonialism, where the cruise industry profits from the allure of Haiti's natural beauty while failing to contribute significantly to the local economy. While Labadee may offer a day of relaxation and leisure for cruise passengers, the stark contrast between the gated luxury and the socio-economic conditions just beyond the fences casts a shadow over this idyllic destination. As conscientious travelers, it is essential for us to question the ethics of these practices and demand greater transparency and accountability from cruise operators. We must advocate for responsible tourism that goes beyond superficial experiences and engages with the local culture, supports local businesses, and contributes meaningfully to the destinations we visit.